All right, let's see how we can easily reverse a string in JavaScript, and then let's see how we can reverse it recursively. So uh, let's create a string, call it test string, and we're gonna say JavaScript is fun, like this. All right. So first thing we're gonna say, const split it string is equal to test string dot split what it's gonna do if we split it like this is gonna put every character of a string in an array so if i console log split it string i can see that all the characters of a string are in an array now i'm gonna say reversed split it string is equal to split it string dot reverse which we can apply to our array and it's gonna reverse the element of our array so if we console log reversed split it string like this okay we can see that now it's uh, all the elements in reverse and now we just need to put it back as a string so we're going to say reversed string is equal to reversed split it string dot join and i'm going to console log reversed string which is here and you can see at the bottom that it's our string in reverse so basically if I remove the console log for now, to reverse the string, what we did is that we set uh, test string dot split first step dot reverse second step dot join third step, and if I console log this, I will see my uh, string. In reverse order perfect so let's see now how we can do the same recursively so we're gonna say const recursively reversed string takes as an argument a string because I'm using TypeScript I'm gonna give it its type string and I'm gonna say if the string is empty Then I return empty. Else I'm going to call back this function with string dot substring one. I'm going to explain just after that when I'm finished typing. Plus string dot car at zero. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to say. Okay, we're gonna take the string, JavaScript is fun. At the end, when we are at the last element, we just stop. We, we return, when we, the string is empty, we return empty. Otherwise, we call back this method by taking the first element, here we're gonna start with the J, put it at the end and recall the method on everything but the J. So we have the J at the end, we recall it on this, and then we're gonna have the A that is going to be added but before the j so we have the j here the a here and then we call it back from here and like this until we get to the end and so if i do console log of recursively recursively reversed string of our test string then you can see that we have our string reversed so it's working 